Sudan, if I could go back to the uh, military takeover happened just hours uh, after uh, Special Envoy fell in love. How surprised was the administration by the timing of how that happened? Did he come away believing that there was um, a, a level of normalcy there, that, 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 or at least status quo? And then second, I was wondering if you could meet on the bones of um, uh, Secretary Yellen's meeting uh, with her Chinese counterpart, or her conversation, uh, where she frankly raised some concerns. What were those concerns that she raised? Um, so one of the things I want to be careful about is uh, getting ahead of Secretary Yellen, who ought to have the right to characterize her own meetings. I will only say that uh, Secretary Yellen went into that with a clear purpose of uh, showing her Chinese counterpart, Liu He, that the United States has an affirmative economic agenda for macroeconomic stability in the world, that there are certain steps we're going to take to protect our workers and our businesses, uh, and then to inquire as to what the, the Chinese government is prepared to step up and do. I'm not going to get into the specifics of the concerns, but I would refer you to her insofar as she wants to read that meeting out. Otherwise, how she manages that relationship, I, I really want to leave in her hands. On the question of Sudan, Part of the reason that Special Envoy Feltman was there having intensive meetings is because we've been worried for some time about political stability in Sudan, about the fragility of the democratic process there. But I can't speak to, you know, whether he thought it, the exact time frame um, was going to be the time frame. I can say that the very purpose of his intensive diplomacy in Sudan uh, was to address the fact that we were up against a circumstance in which there were a lot of forces pulling at um, this this fragile effort to move towards a democratic constitutional order. Yeah. 